Thank you very much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. I wanted to back up a little bit and kind of start big and, and get down small. You know, people do not exist separately and distinctly from the environment. And if we look at the Bay Delta ecosystem, it's really one of the reasons why we're all here. It's, it has huge amounts of fresh water. It's literally where life happens and where food happens. And we have a superfood, salmon, wild salmon, which has been recognized by the federal government as a protected endangered species. And they were protected on religious and moral grounds. When something is gone forever, that there's no going back. And it's incredibly important to remember that. That's a superfood that we have here. There should be millions upon millions of salmon coming through that bay in the delta every year. Right now we have in the low hundreds of thousands. And, and that's a resource that, that we could improve with a little bit more fresh water flow. You know, we live in a capitalistic economy where water equals money. You know, we also live in a representative democracy where water is a public trust resource and our elected representatives are responsible for public, for protecting the public trust resources out of those types of industries and people who want to utilize that water to line their own pockets. And the BDCP looks to me like we're selling the dream in the 20th, 20, 20th century. You know, in the, in the late 19th and early 20th century, you know, our water infrastructure was designed and it was first put into production in the 1930s. In the 1930s, there were less than 6 million people in the entire state of California. The number one industry was agriculture. And the dream was, we're going to take the water-rich lands of the north and they're going to help pay some of the costs of delivering water to these semi-arid desert environments of the San Joaquin Valley. That was a stated benefit the Central Valley Project and also the State Water Project, was, was farming the semi-arid desert of the San Joaquin Valley. Well, we've been at it for a really long time. Uh, there were some short-term benefits derived from that, but the long-term costs have been paid and they're continuing to be paid. Um, and those costs are much too great. What, we, what was sold as a benefit is actually a massive cost. The BDCP is nothing more than an extension of a 1930s water plant. The 1940s was the, was the first time the peripheral canal was discussed. In the State Water Project, there were supposed to be 5 million acre feet of water coming from Mendocino and Humboldt counties for the Eel, Mad, Klamath, Smith, and Trinity Rivers delivered to coming down through the Sacramento River. Right now, the Delta exports are 5 million acre feet. But there's supposed to be an additional 5 million acre feet coming in from Humboldt and Mendocino. That was why you needed the peripheral canal to come around to deliver that water to San Joaquin Valley. In 1967, Governor Ronald Reagan declared, declared those rivers wild and scenic. That water was never is, delivered. Is it your time is up to summarize? Yes. There is, so five million, so we're still operating as if there, there's 10 million acre feet to be diverted from the Delta. Right now we're diverting five million acre feet and that's too much. There is no additional water. We're gonna build this okay. massive is canal. There's no water to Mr. flow Frost, through I really need to to uh, summarize and then... Uh, okay, there is no additional water and the opportunity cost is too high for the BDCP. We should invest our money in regional self-sufficiency projects. That's where we should start and okay. end. Thank you. Ryan. No one else is going to solve our problems for us. Okay, I'm going to uh, call the rest of the speaker uh, in sequence so that